everybody to the Single and Stiletto Show. I'm Suzanne Oshima and I'm a matchmaker and dating coach at Dream Bachelor and Bachelorette and I'm also the founder of Single and Stilettos. Today we have on our show Dwayna Welch and she's the author of Love Factually, 10 Proven Steps from My Wish to I Do. And I'm so excited to have her here today because today we're talking about breaking up how and why to ditch that better than nothing relationship. So welcome Dwayna to the show. Thank you Suzanne, it's really exciting to be here. Well, before we jump into this, I would love for you to tell our audience what made you come up with writing this book, Love Factually. Well, thank you. So uh, one of my friends asked me the other day when I knew I wanted to be a writer, and I said I never wanted to be one. What I didn't. I was not the kid who thought, oh, I'll be a writer someday. I wanted to be happily married someday. Even though I was getting my PhD and even though I had a rich, full life, my primary goal in life really was to have a happy, lifelong relationship. And I was failing at it. I was in my late 20s. I was getting my PhD in developmental psychology, and I was heartbroken. I went to a library, actually a bookstore, and I thought, hmm, I wonder if somebody else has done research on how to find the right life partner. And even though that book didn't exist in a bookstore, there were lots of people who had done research on the topic and so I started just reading the actual scientific research and applying it to my life and as it succeeded for me people started asking me if I could help them with it and that eventually became the book. Awesome. Well, so tell us what scientific research tells us about breaking up and why you should ditch that better than nothing relationship because I hear this a lot. So Better Than Nothing or BTN is a relationship that meets a lot of your standards but you know that it's not your final choice. That's why we call it Better Than Nothing. Or maybe you might call it uh, Less Than Ultimate. And because you know it's this final choice, it's not your final choice, it's a, it's a time waster. People think that they can date their BTN and find the right one but really it doesn't work out that way because the BTN actually takes up your motivation for finding the right one and it takes that sparkle out of your eyes that would attract somebody new usually so um, because you start to lose self-esteem frankly when you're in one of these for long enough it feels like this is this is all I have and then that starts to feel like oh, this is all I can get so I'm going to tell you five times when it's really time to leave this relationship and the first one um, is that you should break up with them if they lack even one of your deal even one of your must-haves if they have a deal breaker the deals broken you need to break up um, another time that you definitely need to break up is if the pain outweighs the pleasure. I know that pop music and movies and your therapist all make it seem like relationships are endless work and they're filled with pain. And they are if you're with the wrong person. That is so true. And it's, it's one of those things where, again, it sounds obvious, but I can't tell you how many times... Um, I'll be talking to somebody and they're just like in a miserable relationship and, and but they're too scared to go out there and date again because it's even more scary to them to actually get out there and try and find someone new. Yes, low self-esteem is the enemy of finding Mr. Right. It really is. If you're with this BTN, it's going to lower your self-esteem instead of raising it. So if this person is bringing you more pain than pleasure, that's a BTN, it's time to go. Another one is if they don't love you enough. They might love you some, they might even say the words. If you don't feel loved enough, even if they're saying the words, how you feel is why you're in the relationship. If you don't feel the way you need to feel, if you don't feel like they love you enough, that's a no. Another no, if you don't love them enough. You might love them some if you don't love them enough. If you can't see spending the rest of your life with them. Now again, ladies, if you just want a series of short-term relationships, this advice is not for you. But research shows that most of us really want a permanent mateship, a lifetime of happiness with someone. And if that's you, you've got to, the, the price of finding that love is bypassing everyone who doesn't fit the bill. That's the price of it. And so this person doesn't fit it if you don't love them enough. I don't care if they're perfect. If you don't love them enough, they're not perfect. Well, that and is I, true. And I know the pain of that. Gosh, I was dating this guy who was perfect. And uh -huh. everybody thought it was insane not to be in love with them. But you know what, Suzanne? I wasn't in love with them. I felt like a horrible person, but I wasn't in love with them. And no one ever said, thank you for settling for me. He would not have thanked me to accept him, even though he was perfect. You know what I'm saying? He needed to have a woman who thought, oh my gosh, you're perfect. I love you. And he didn't have that with me. And now he does with someone else. Well, so that's, that's good. Yeah, so that's another circumstance. And then finally, if your intuition says so. If your intuition says, not the one, then he's not the one. 
um, evolutionarily speaking, your intuition exists to save your bacon. It is there to protect you from relationships that are not right and possibly even dangerous for you. The intuition resides in the right half of the brain, which is non-conscious and does not have language. So it's not going to tell you why you have that feeling that he's not right for you, but you should heed it nevertheless. Okay? So I have a question because um, I always think that women are so much more intuitive than men. Is, have you found in your scientific research that women are actually really more intuitive than men? On a love basis, I suspect that's true, although I don't know that it's true. On, uh, on other bases, men and women are similar. So I just am telling you my guess is that you're right. I don't know for sure that that's true. The reason I think you're right is that studies show that men are far less logical about choosing a partner than women are. And really, men are in so much less physical danger when choosing a partner than women have historically been. They're not the ones who are likely to be raped or beaten or left for dead or uh, their children violated or any of these things. So my guess is that evolution would have favored a stronger intuition in the sex that's likely to be violated if anyone's going to be violated. But I don't know that that's certainly true. I know that there are self-reports that indicate that that's true. Right. Well, that's so, a good point. Yeah. So... Um, how do you actually break up? Ladies, please don't say, I'll call you and not call them. You know how that feels when they do it to you. Please don't do that. So here's what to do instead. I did a survey. It wasn't a scientific survey, but there weren't any scientific surveys. So I did my own and uh, I talk about it in the book. And basically no one, male or female, likes it when you just drop off the face of the earth. That is true. Nobody likes that. It, it makes them feel very it's unfinished business and it makes them feel deeply unsettled and you don't like it and so it's not good emotional kind respectful practice to do it to someone else so here's what you do instead and it's interesting I asked my uh, anonymous respondents to say what do you want them to do instead and this is the summation of what they said tell me something nice about myself and then say one of the following two things either but I just don't feel the way I need to for this to go any further or I just don't think we're a good enough match to go forward so you focus on your feelings or your sense of a match and the wonderful thing about this is it's kind of respectful you're not attacking them you're not saying there's something wrong with them also it's um, it's true you are in fact moving on because you don't feel the way you need to feel and it's not a good enough match. If you felt the way you need to feel and this was a good enough match, you'd be staying right there. Well, that is true. And you know what's funny? I actually tell that to my clients to tell whoever they've just gone even out on a couple of dates with instead of just dis disappearing because people hate, like you said, when people just disappear off the face of the earth. And I always say, lead with something good and then say what you need to say and I say exactly that so that's a great point well these have been some great points so Dwayne tell our audience how they can find you so you can find me and my book on amazon.com the book is available now in paperback Yay. and, and e-copy and audio and uh, you can also get a free chapter if you prefer to go directly to my website at lovefactually.co lovefactually.co Awesome. Well, thanks everybody for joining us on the Single and Stiletto Show. Our show is available both in video format and podcast format. If you like to get the videos, you can go to singleandstilettos.com. And if you like to get the podcast, you can download it from iTunes. If you would like to get our free ebook on the three secrets guaranteed to attract any man based on scientific research, you can click right here on the video or you can go to singleandstilettos.com.